Agriculture and Food Security Minister Muhammad Sabu has stated his commitment to discuss issues pertaining to the comprehensive and progressive agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership with the International Trade and Industry Ministry. Malaysia Food Sovereignty Forum Head Coordinator Nur Fitri Amir Muhammad said Muhammad Sabu gave his assurance to discuss the six demands from non-governmental organizations on the effects of CPTPP. Among the effects of the CPTPP on the farming community that is listed in the memorandum include preventing farmers from innovating and denying the interests and contributions of farmers to share and sell seeds. It also deters fishermen from catching certain types of fish, tripling agricultural pesticides and veterinary medicine costs as well as the constraining of import permits that aims to protect local farmers and market from import dumping. Komitmen Menteri, hmm. Komitmen Menteri tadi dia kata dia akan uh, apa ni berhubung dengan lebih lanjut dengan miti lah. Tapi seperti mana Pak Lan sebut tadi, actually keputusan ni adalah keputusan Perdana Menteri dengan Kabinet, bukan miti lah. Yeah. Uh, jadi uh, Perdana Menteri uh, perlu apa ni respon lah eh, terhadap, terhadap isu ni. So apakah mungkin YB Mak Sabu ada kata uh, beliau akan membawa perkara ini ke Kabinet? Is that such a yes, yes. Earlier, Nur Fitri along with representatives from 54 NGOs handed a memorandum detailing the demands and had a one-hour meeting with Muhammad Sabu at the ministry. The meeting, he said, was to acquire an explanation from the Agriculture and Food Security Ministry regarding the impact of CPTPP on farmers, livestock breeders and fisherfolk in the country as well as the nation's food security. Meanwhile, Muhammad's office clarified that he will not be tabling the issue at the cabinet meeting. Instead, a spokesperson from the ministry told Malaysia Kini that the issue will be discussed with Miti on an official level.